My name is Jürgen Rinelli and I'm a senior software consultant. Today I'm going to show you the new feature Next Gen Antivirus, available as an add-on in Endpoint Central. Have fun with it! All right, now here we are in the console from Endpoint Central and within the tab, the module Next Gen Antivirus. Next Gen Antivirus is available right now in an early access and will later be available as a uh, add-on what has to be extra licensed. It won't be included within the, uh, within the endpoint security add-on automatically. It won't be. All right. Um, I do have um, a virtual machine here. This is um, directly the server. And um, yeah, we can see next-gen antivirus. So first, some basics about next-gen antivirus. Uh, it is an advanced cybersecurity solution powered by deep learning, i.e. assisted real-time behavioral detection, incident forensics, and exploit mitigation to anticipate and prevent known and unknown threats. Unlike the traditional antivirus, next-gen antivirus continually monitors and proactively responds to threats by establishing multi-layered protection against malware. It analyzes attacks, procedures, and techniques to ensure robust protection. You will need, of course, the agent available and online on the systems. Here we have, I have, um, yeah, this is the, <laughs> the server and this is a Windows 11 client I specially have for this uh, use case. Within the settings, what can we do? We have the ability to add exclusions, mm -hmm. uh, detection source, behavior, detection engine, deep AV engine, or everything. We do have exclusion types to set. Yeah, accordingly, what we do change, we will have other um, um, possibilities. Select all or have ransomware, sign a certificate, and such. Next would be, uh, I, I won't set an exclusion right now. So next will be notifications. I already set up my um, notification. Um, you can modify it here. Yeah, enable or disable notifications and even get um, notifications in the mobile app from Endpoint Central. So I do not have set up an, uh, a mobile app right now here, so uh, there's no need. Modify preferences. Ransomware detection engine. You can have the detection policy in an audit only mode or you could already kill the process. Yeah, you can enable or disable everything. Deep AV, deep learning based antivirus. Um, the detection policy, I set it up to prevent. And behavior detection engine is enabled too. Cleanup policy. It is how long detected incidents will be kept within the database. It is, um, the basic configuration is 60 days. You can modify it here accordingly to your uh, needs and security policies within your company. Disable early access. If you don't wish to have the next gen antivirus, you can dis disable it here. Right, incidents. I do have one incident already from yesterday's testing and um, the database, yeah, it will remain within the database the 60 days I set up here, the 60 days. So, well, then, now, <laughs> let's start and um, make a testing on that Windows 11 client. Um, let's start it. It is this machine. Yeah, turn on Windows backup. No, thank you. Um, we do have a Windows 11 and the um, Windows security 
is turned off because I want to get certain that it is only the next gen antivirus um, giving you me um, some uh, notifications and doing its job. So in order to test if there is a notification or not, <laughs> I will start PowerShell. And I will execute the command choice exit M M E E D R sample detection. Yes, I want to run it. Let's have a look on the side of endpoint central incidents. Oh, PowerShell exit, raised, unresolved. What's going on there? Let's have a look. And now there's the action. I can say true or false, positive. Uh, let's have a look. Summary, signed, yes, signed algorithms. Um, virus total, there is a link to the virus total com. Uh, with further information, details about it, uh, severities and such. First, infection de infected device information. And a lot more. Um, there is the alerts. Where we will find the complete tree. Process tree, we will we see um, the uh, process start time, command line, the system, and everything. And we within here, we already can access, as we are used to through the tools uh, section of Endpoint Central, we can uh, start the um, system manager or get in a remote control immediately or start a patch asset scan, whatever. Um, as well, what we can do is set this device into network quarantine. What does this mean? This means, um, let's have a look on the machine. Let's see. Right now, close the PowerShell. Yeah, stop it. Um, when we go into the browser, we can browse. Let's say... We go on that side, micronova.de. Yeah, I have access to the internet. When I go here and say network quarantine, proceed, then the um, system will immediately be restricted for, uh, for access to the internet. There will only be the communication open to the endpoint central server, to this um, uh, uh, next-gen antivirus so we have here now, when I do a refresh, yeah, internet, um, the internet is um, restricted. Okay, so it is done really fast, instantly. And if I want to have this uh, system again unblocked, just click unblock, proceed. And let's go back to the system, make a refresh. And there it is, again, the access to the internet. Fine. What else can we do now? We do have the alerts. We have the summary. Let's go back here. And then I can say here, um, this is unresolved. I can say a true or a false positive. I can mark it. So this is a real fast and easy manageable antivirus, what we are able to include as an add-on in Endpoint Central. Thank you for watching my video and um, if you wish more further informations, you will find them below the video. See you soon.